I welcome you to this training. This training is for civil engineers and structural engineers who want to learn how to use Revit structure and robot structural analysis professional. Ensure you let us know where you are connecting us from in the comment section. I am Timothy Omatle, an architect by profession. Very soon we'll be connecting with engineer on the freaky who will be taking us further in this training. Ensure you stay with us till the end of this training because we'll be answering almost all the questions you might have about this course, about Revit Structure and Robot Structural Analysis Professional. What most people do is that they don't have patience to stay with us to the end of the training and then they will enter our DM and start bombarding us with questions. Please, I encourage you to stay with us till the end of this training because almost all the questions you might have about this training will be answered in the course of this training. And if peradventure, one or two questions you might have is not answered in this training, ensure you drop that question in the comment section. We are going to attend to all those questions, all right? Then we'll be giving out a gift to a few set of people at the end of this training. So you can't afford to miss that. And the gift we'll be giving out is Revit Structure 2024 and Robot Structural Analysis Professional. We'll be giving out those two software to a few set of people Though there is a condition to receiving those gifts. So ensure you stay with us to the end of the training so that you can know the condition and see how you can get it. Without wasting your time, let's connect to Engineer on the Freaky now, who will be taking us further in this training. Engineer on the Freaky, over to you. Thank you very much, Architect Timothy, for this wonderful and um, Collaboration of Refit Tutorial Masterclass. My name is Engineer Ndifreke Okon. I am a civil and structural engineer with over 10 years experience in the design and construction industry. I have involved in so many designs and supervision of multiple projects. One of my outstanding projects is the design of AK Township Stadium in Aquaibom State. I am currently working in Amana Constitution Limited, a company that has been in existence for over 52 years as a project engineer, supervising the construction of short span bridges and culvert. I have involved in so many designs using manual calculations and also the use of other softwares. But for the couple of years that I have started using Revit Structure with the combination of robot structural analysis, the result has been so amazing. And I deem it fit that I should share this knowledge with those that have desire to upgrade their professional skill. So I want to encourage everyone who desire to upgrade their professional skill in the design industry to pay attention to this special presentation. In this presentation, I will be showing you how to use Revit structure for modeling of reinforced concrete structure and even steel structure and how you can also use how you can combine Revit structure with robot structural analysis to have a very powerful structural design so i want you to pay attention as we as i unveil this masterpiece to you. 
how to use Autodex Revit structure to model structures and Autodex robot structural analysis proportional to run structural analysis and design of structure. What is Revit structure? A lot of people are familiar with Revit architecture, but it is only a few people that are familiar with Revit structure. So Revit structure is a powerful building information model, modeling software, specifically designed for structural engineering and construction projects. A lot of people may ask this question, why should I use Revit structure and robot analysis software when there are other softwares that can actually model and run analysis of structure. There are a lot of benefit when you use Revit structure and robot analysis. Number one, you, you, you will have accurate representation of architectural model and structure. And you will, and, and the, the, the software is an integrated beam platform collaborating seamlessly with architects, engineers, and contractors using a single unified model. It will also give you accurate modeling process. That is to create precise structural model from architectural model with easy to use tool for column, beams, foundation, and more. Another reason why you should use Revit Structure with a combination of robot analysis professional software is that it automates the analysis and design, meaning that it, it integrates with analysis software like the robot for efficient structural analysis. Then it also enhances operational flexibility, meaning that you can import or export file from various format. For example, the IFC format, you can also import and export file from DWU, G, D, X, F, and so on and so forth. So this software combination is a very powerful tool for you to have maximum result in your structural design. This is an example of Revit structure model where you can actually see the, the real model of a structural element. Now, one of the challenges that we structural engineers have is an ability to explain the structural aspect of the design to client. The architectural design is that is very, very clear. But when it comes to structure, it is some, somehow very difficult for you to explain what a structural design means to some client and even some other people that you desire the services of a structural engineer. So with the with the the advent of this Revit structure model, it is very easy for a structural engineer to model the structure and now send it to a client for client to have to have a look of how structural model look like. If, as you can see this model is a, a little bit different from the Revit or Revit architectural model. The reason is that Revit architectural model consider the aesthetics, but the structural model consider the stability, the safety of the structure. So it has a very slight difference because the Revit structure model 
only showcase the structural element of a project. This is another example of Revit structure model. I think with this model, you can, as a structural engineer, convince somebody to, to see how a structural model look like and what you intend to do. What is robot structural professional? Robot structural analysis professional is a comprehensive software for structural design and analysis. It offers numerous benefits such as integrated structural analysis and design, advanced simulation and modeling capability, automated code checking, example the C, ACI, BS8110, Hero code, AS3600. This software has an inbuilt code that when you use any of the code to perform analysis into all the code requirement will be checked and where your design does not meet code requirement you will receive a you will receive a message which you will now go back and maybe resize your structural section or structural element that particular particular point. It also has a BIM integration with Autodex Revit and other software. Revit um, Robot Structural Professional is a non-linear analysis and dynamic simulation software. There are key components in Robot Structural Analysis software which include structural modeling and analysis, frame and finite element analysis, dynamic analysis and semi-ceramic design, non-linear analysis and material non-linearity, code checking and compliance reporting, section and foundation design, load calculation and combination, result evaluation and visualization. So this very soft way has all these key components that will give you the professional results after you might have you know, performed your analysis and design. So it run the checking automatically and where your design does not meet the minimum requirement, then you will receive a report that that particular element does not meet minimum requirements. So the software is as powerful as that. This is an example of robot structural analysis model. As you can see, it, it is a complete 3D model, which comprises of the column, the beam, the roof, the, the footings, the slab, and every other structural element that are, that are involved in this particular structure. So this is what robot structural analysis software can do. The advantage of this particular software is that it has the capability to model, to carry out 3D model, and it also has the ability perform the analysis and design of structure which make it to be more advantageous than Revit structure. So Revit structure only focus on the modeling. It doesn't really have the features to perform analysis and design of the structural element. This is also another example of robot structural analysis 3D model. It is a roof truss. And after 
you have modeled this, you can run your complete analysis and design of all the elements, both the reinforced elements and the steel element. So the the the, the software is very is very unique and it's very powerful. Benefit of both software to structural engineers, architects, and builders. It improves design efficiency. When you engage these two software, that is the Revit structure and robot structural analysis software, your, it will improve design efficiency. It will also enhance accurate and precision. It will reduce error and clashes. It will increase collaboration and coordination. It makes documentation faster and even reporting. It also has a better cost estimation and management. It increases productivity and reduces project timeline. Okay, now that we have um, taken time to explain what Revit structure software is and what robot structural analysis provisional software also is. What then is Revit robot structural design and analysis? Revit robot structural design and analysis is a combination or integration of Autodex Revit structure, the modeling of structure, and the use of Autodex robot structural analysis professional for the analysis and design of structure model in Revit structure. The combination of two Autodex software enhances maximum beam result for structural design. A very good question that we should ask ourselves as structural engineers, builders, or even architects. Why do we combine the two softwares? Why do we combine the two softwares? Now, from this representation, you see that Autodex Revit structure only models 2D and 3D. It's only concentrated on modeling of 2D, 3D. In, but in the other hand, Autodex Robot Structural Provisional model 2D and 3D and all which translate and also carry out design and analysis. Now, the difference between these two software is that Autodex Revit structure only concentrate on modeling, modeling of the structure. It does not have the features to run analysis and design of the structure. So it only give you the structural models in either 2D or in 3D. But in the other hand, Autodex Robot Structural Professional models analyze and design. It models and align and analyze and design. Now, what is analysis? In a very simple term, analysis uses load to generate stress on structures, which translate to movement that is used for the design. So, no matter how beautiful a rabbit structure may model your structure, without the analysis, without the calculation of the load that is on that structure, that structure cannot be constructed. So you must analyze, you must send the model to a software that has the feature and the capability to analyze load that is on that structure, generate stress, which will now translate to movement and that moment will be used for the design. And from there, you can use the output of the design to provide the, the appropriate structural uh, reinforcement that we use for each 
of the structural member tree. So Revit structure is a software that is that that is used for 2D and 3D modeling and does not have the features for an analysis and design of structure. So while robot analysis is functional, on the other hand, is a software that is used both for modeling and designing of structures. Now, robot structural analysis professional is compatible with Revit structure and both software are produced by Autodex. So why we combine this particular software is that number one, it is it is being produced by the same company, Autodex. So that is why we call it Autodex Revit Structure. And we call the other one Autodex Robot Structural Analysis Professional. So the two software are manufactured by the same company and it is compatible with each other for modeling, analysis, and design of structure. So the, the most important aspect of this teaching is how we can combine Revit structure with robot structural analysis for our structural design. So what do we send from Revit structure to robot structural analysis? The, the answer is very simple. So what we send from Revit structure to robot analysis software is analytical link or what you may call an analytical model. So how to create an analytical model from Revit structure model. So when, when you are done creating your Revit structure 3D model, so you have to click on the Analyze tab. So when you click on the Analyze tab, the, it, will, it will take you to the icon that has analytical automation. So you click on analytical automation. And when you click on analytical automation, a dialog box will come out, which is physical to analytical for building. So you click on it, then you click on select. When you click on select, it will tell you select in Refit. So you go back and select the 3D model. So after you select the 3D model, the next thing you will do is that you will click on filter to be select unwanted members. Now, the reason why you, you click on filter to be select unwanted members is that quick line is not a structural member. Level is not a structural member. So those are unwanted structural members. So you deselect them. Then the next thing you will do is for you to arrange the section the section group. Now, the section group is actually a process of in which you arrange the order in which the structural element, in which the analysis will be run on the structural element. So, for instance, you can you can select your beam as number one. You select your column as number two. Then you select your floor slab as number three. And you can as well select your column as number one. That is group one. You select your floor slab as group two. You select your 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 beam as group three. So you can do that. Then after you finish the selection, you click on run. Then after the 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 the, the analysis has, has finished, then you select on analytical model tab bar. So you select on the tab bar. Then analytical model comma then you send that analytical model to robot structure for the analysis so this is the link or the model that you send to robot structure for analysis robot does not analyze analyze the the normal 3d model what robot understand what the software understand is the analytical link or analytical model that you send 
to it. So that is what it understands. It understands those, those members as columns, understand them as beams, understand them as, as floor slabs. So that is what you send to the software to run to perform the analysis and sign. So this is just the gra graphical representation of what I have just finished explaining. So to create the to create an analytical model from rapid structure model. So what you have, you have the 3D model from rapid structure. Then from the 3D model, you have the analytical model. From the analytical model, you, you send that analytical model to Revit to robot structural analysis to perform the analysis and design of the structure. So this 3D model further explain um, what we have already discussed earlier. So this is example of Revit structural 3D model that you will use to send the analytical link. So this is this is the 3D the example of the 3D model from Revit. And this is the example of analytical model. This is how the analytical model looks like. So this is what robot will understand. So this is what robot will understand. So it understand all this, this, all this tiny frame as the structural member. So this is what the robot understand and will run the analysis on it and give you the stresses and also the, their respective moment. So this is what you will be used for the analysis and design of the structure in robot analysis professional. So this is the analytical model from robot. So this is what has been sent to robot and by the time you click on, on, the, on the section, section of section tab, it will bring out the, the section of this element. So this is how the 3D model of the analytical uh, model like in in robot software so this is what you will use to run the analysis and design after you you have finished modeling your structure in refit structure the next thing is for you to send the the analytical model to robot structural analysis software because Revit's, Revit structure does not have uh, features that enable it to perform analysis and when you finish modeling your structure no matter how beautiful that structure is until you analyze it then it's not fit for for you so you have to perform analysis analysis so for you to do that for you to create the analytical model that will be used for the analysis to perform the analysis and generate uh, movement and reactions which you now use to to design your column design your beams design your slab and then to provide the appropriate reinforcement so what you need to do is you click on analyze so when you click on analyze you click on analytical automation so this dialog box will pop up okay so this is the analytical automation dialog box so this is what you use to run you to convert the physical uh, physical structural element to analytic for to an analytical element so you click on this so when you click on this you click on select so it says select in refit so you highlight highlight the whole of this so when you highlight that you click on filter now the function of this filter is to is to enable you re remove some of the element 
that you don't want in the analytical uh, model. So I don't need this, I will uncheck it. I don't want grid. I don't want level. So I think I, I need floors, I need structural column, and I need structural framing. So after you have done that, you click on apply. You click on OK. So now this is this is the total of uh, 195 elements. So you click on show element. Now, I want to arrange the order of my structural element. So I want to arrange the first group of element, the second group of element, and the third group of element. So the first group of element is actually, I want to use beam as the first group of element. Then column, the second group of element. Then floor is the third group of element. So after I have finished everything, that I now check everything is okay and I click on run. Okay, so it has finished creating the analytical model so you can close. Now, the next thing I want to do is to generate my analytical model. So I click on analytical model and this is the analytical model that it has generated. This is what I'm going to send to robot analysis software. Okay, to, to, so to send this to robot analysis software, I will click, go back and click on analyze again. When I click on analyze, you come to this block in which is, um, which is robot structural analysis. So you click on it, then click on robot structural analysis link. Okay, so I will just, because it says send model. So I want to send this model straight to robot. So I'll click on OK. So you have to wait for it to finish generating the, the analytical, send it to, to the robot. OK, so you click yes. So you close this. So this is the analytical model that he has sent to robot. Okay, so from here we can perform all the analysis and design. We can we can we can design our beams. We can design our columns. We can design our footings from here. So let me just uh, uh, sh uh, click on the section shape. So this is this this is the beam. This is the beam, this is the column, and this is the slab. So that this is basically how you can uh, combine the refit structure and robot analysis software to carry out your structural model and design. So I believe with this few examples I've shown to you, when you get the video, when you get the training video, you, you have a, a comprehensive and detailed step-by-step -step on how to detail, on how to model Revit, do your modeling through Revit uh, uh, structure, and how you can also uh, use this robot analysis, uh, analysis software to perform your structural analysis. Okay, now, I'll give you a brief, a brief um, process in which the rapid structure and rapid robot analysis is being integrated and how they function together to give you to perform structural design. Now, the big question is, would you like to upgrade your professional skill that will make you relevant in a multinational construction company. Nowadays, companies are looking for people that knows how to use software for the design and analysis. Nobody wants to know what qualification you have as a civil engineer or as a builder. But what they really
what they are really interested in is your ability to be able to integrate this your, your ability to be able to utilize this software for the analysis and design of their project so the question now would you like to upgrade your professional skill that will make you relevant in a multinational construction company one thing that you must understand is that if you are not if your skill is not upgraded there are some jobs that you cannot have in some of these multinational construction companies they are looking for expert that can handle revit structure they are looking for expert that, that they can have that can handle proper analysis professional software they are looking for expert that can handle star pro they are looking for expert that can that that knows how to handle total structure and other structural design software so you must you must you must know that for you to remain relevant in the building industry for you to remain relevant in the construction industry then you must desire to upgrade your professional skill so do you need someone who can mentor you in structural design with the state of the art software and help you to understand face principle design approach one thing about design is that before you can actually use design software accurately you must understand design from first principle so one thing i have done for my student is that i will take them through the process of first principle design approach and when one they understand design from first principle then they will be able to apply the software because software is simply application of the first principle design approach so what we simply do in software application is we simply apply first principle design approach for instance the software will not be the one that will calculate the loop. so you have to be the, the one to calculate the loop. you have to be you must understand how to calculate load how to assemble load what code talks about what so you should be able to have a very sound knowledge when it comes to structural design and it is from that knowledge that you have that you will be able to impute in, in the correct data in the software. So software is like garbage in, garbage out. So whatever that you give to the software, that is what the software will produce for you. So there are people that just manipulate software, but they don't really know design. So for you to know how to use software doesn't mean that you know design until you understand design from first principle. So I want to let you know that if you need someone who can mentor you in structural design from first principle, I think you are in the right place. Now, would you also like to acquire a skill that can pay you up to 400, 400 to 1 million a month? Then I believe that you are in the right place because with your knowledge of how to use Revit structure with the combination of um, robot analysis, you should be able to run, you should be able to to carry out design within a short period of time because one of the advantage of this software is that it, 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 it's not time consuming it's it really helps when it comes to managing your time would you also like to acquire a skill that can help you design analyze any form of structure whether it is building retaining wall basement swimming pool water tank steel structure then revit structure and um, robot analysis software can help you but you need someone that can guide you through so with this software you'll be able to design any structure of your choice now that you have make up your mind to secure a mentor that will help you in the design and analysis of structure there are some things that you need. So you need the following. You need a computer with operating system, Windows 10, or you also need Windows 10 or Windows 11, or Macos. You also, that uh, system must have a processor of not less than 16 bits. 
or multi-core processor. The RAM must be up to 16 gig or 32 gig. 32 gig is recommended. Now, why we need this high capacity of system is because Revit structure is a very heavy software. It's a very heavy software because it comprises of Revit architecture and Revit structure. So it, it, it consumes a large capacity of your system. So you need a system that has a very high RAM. Then graphics, you need DirectX 11 or higher. Then the storage capacity, you need up to like 10 gig grid disk space. You must know how to operate computer. You must also have basic knowledge in loading of structures. Now, it is one thing for you to desire to use structural software. The structural software is best used when you have a basic knowledge of loading. A basic knowledge of loading. What load is used for what element? How, how can I calculate this load? How can I be sure that this is the, this is the right load that I'm going to produce? So you need to have a basic knowledge of how to load structures. And we are ready to take you through that process. We are ready to take you through that process. Then what you also need, you need to install Autodex Revit and Autodex Robot Structure Analysis Professional. So you need these two software. When you might have gotten your computer, you need to install them and make sure that they are working. And I want to recommend that you can you can you can install 2023 version from 2023 version and above is what is recommended. So if you can get 2023 Autodex Refit and 2023 Autodex Robot Structure. Now I want to explain something here. When you install Autodex Revit. 2023 or 2024 you need to also install the same version of robot autodex robot structure analysis professional if you don't install the same version of the software they cannot work you cannot use to a rabbit structure 2023 version and now combine with Autodex robot structure of 2024. No, they are not compatible. So it must be of the same version. So you must use 2023 for Revit structure and 2023 for robot structure. If you are using 2024 Revit structure, then you must also use 2024 robot structure. If you are using 2025 Revit structure, then you must also use 2025 robot structural analysis. So these are some of my student testimonies. Students that have joined my mentorship program. These are some of their testimonies. So these are some of the, the screenshots from our previous online training. So this is Engineer Jacob. So when we posted our training video on 9th September, we, we recommend that this is good because they had value for their money. They had value for their money. So if you also enrolled in an online training masterclass, you will also have value for your money. This is another student of mine, Engineer Monday Ijafu, when I posted our training video, that was on the 26th, look at his recommendation, or look at his comment. He said, you are indeed a good mentor and a teacher at the same time. Engineer, honestly, your video are direct and educative. You, you have, you are my mentor. You have, you have been my mentor and you remain my boss. So this is one of our students, this is one of his testimony. He joined our online training and today he has been properly trained and he can carry out any form of design. So you too can also be one of 
a test a te testimonial now it is one thing in life for an opportunity to be presented to somebody and another thing in life for that person to grab the opportunity so i have presented an opportunity to you so what you need to do is for you to decide whether you will get a professional mentor or not one of the things i have experienced in my journey in my professional journey is that you need someone with very good experience with sound not with some professional knowledge to mentor you there are things that you will not know until you have a mentor there are things i didn't know until i avail myself to a professional mentor so during these years i've been tutored and mentored by great professionals and that is what is helping me today to become one of the outstanding civil engineers that, that have handled uh, mega projects across across the country so you need to decide today whether to get a professional mentor or not uh, what i would do i would teach you everything you need to know in revit structure for modeling of structure then i will also teach you everything you need to know on how to use robot structural software to analyze and design structure i will give you my template on how to, you can use my template to carry out loading before you can now impute those load on in the software i'm introducing you to repeat robot structural design masterclass so this is how revit 2024 look like and this is this is also how robot structural analysis professional software look like you know there are people that are only familiar with rapid with rapid architecture so some of them are not familiar with robot structural analysis so this is robot structural analysis professional this is 2022 as i've said earlier that if you are using 2024 rapid structure that you also need to use 2024 robot structural analysis professional for compatibility for compatibility for compatibility so this is how robot structural analysis professional software look like so this is rapid architecture model so this is this is one of our projects that we have designed you know one thing about, about our company is that we don't really expose some of our projects we don't really because of the because of the non disclosure uh, non disclosure agreement that we had so we don't really dis, we don't really disclose most of our projects so i would have display a lot of project that we have designed this is one of one of my private design project rapid architecture model so i was able to produce the rapid structure from this so we designed this very structure from 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 the scratch and we did all the detailing now what i would say here is that nobody can actually pay for professional knowledge professional knowledge is an investment a lot of people don't know that they need to invest in in order for them to get professional knowledge so for you to be able to for you to be outstanding professionally you need a lot of investment so a lot of people don't know the value of investing in their career so what i am about giving to you is something that is what 500 to 800000 that's when you consider the multiple training video that i'm going to send it worth by 150000 then the relevant code for design of structure worth like 50000 my personal template which i normally give to my student to to help them 
for loading of structure worth 100,000. Then access to WhatsApp, contact, and Telegram platform worth about 80,000. So when you look at the total value, it's about 380,000. But what do you think that I can do? What do you think I can do? In fact, what I'm going to give you will not be the, the, the price I'm going to give to you for this course will not be up to 200,000. I'm doing this because I'm running a promo and I want to encourage everybody to be part of this. Nobody can really pay me for the professional training, but because I just want to also contribute my quota to make sure other people also get this, the, wealth of, the wealth of experience that I have gotten all these years. So that is why I'm just trying to give out the so when by the time you consider all the training i'm going to give to you the value of all the training the material i'm going to give to you my personal template my experience for all these years you know that it worth over eight hundred thousand. but after i have done a lot of consideration I feel that I should just help few people. Should just help few people, what I may call fast fingers. People that may take advantage of this opportunity. So I will be giving you access to my mentorship platform at a discount price. A discount price. That will not be up to 200,000. So there are some frequently asked questions. There are some questions that some students used to ask. And one of these questions is what I'm trying to answer. What are the course outlines? What am I going to learn in this course? Now, what I can assure you in this course is that I will teach you design from first principle. This first principle design approach. I will show you design from first principle approach. I will also show you how to prepare general arrangement from architectural drawing. I will show you how to exp uh, how to export Revit structure model to Revit. I will show you how to export Revit architecture model to Revit structure model. I will show you how to export the Excel file to Revit structure. I will also help you to understand Revit structure interface. I will help you still in this course. We will show you how to start a new project in Revit structure, how to model structure using Revit structure. In this course, I will show you how to set up grid line in Revit structure how to set floor level, how to define material properties, how to create floor slab, how to create opening, how to define structural members section like beam, column, floor, concrete wall, and other structural members, how to generate analytical model to robot structural analysis for design and analysis. I will show you how to perform analysis and design using robot analysis. I will also show you how to load structure and run analysis and design. I will show you how to detail structure using Revit structure and AutoCAD. The second question that some student asks, what is your course and duration of learning? What is your course and duration of learning? Now the course, the course depends when you decide to act. So if you decide to gain access before our promotion is over, then you are going to gain access at the current promo price. Otherwise, you are going to gain access at the regular price. You are going to have access to all the training material for at least a period of one year and have my contact. Within this one year, you can ask me any question regarding how to use rapid structure and robot analysis and robot structural analysis software to carry out your design 
melakukan analisis. Some students will also ask what is the method of learning the course. The course is in a downloadable video format that can be download, downloaded to your computer so you can watch them at your leisure. You know, there are some online training platforms that you can download your courses. But in our own case, we don't do like that. We allow students to download the course so that they can it, it will save them their data and will also save them the, the cost of the, the course. So we make it in such a way that students can download this, uh, download our training course and study at their own leisure. So when you have decided to, to, to enroll in the course, you can pay the discounted amount of 50,000 to account detail, account name, Akim Consul, current account, bank, access bank. Then the account number is just below. So when you have done the payment, you can send proof of payment to the number on the screen. 234 8062882635 See you in class